I'm Horace Longson and I am 100 years old and I uh, have lived in this house for 60 years and recently it has been completely renovated. I applied to join the Air Force and I was quite surprised that I was accepted because I wasn't really a technician, I was, an, I was an amateur radio operator and very keen on technology. And the interviewing officer said, even though you haven't got the qualifications for what we want, we want you. You are keen and we will train you. I uh, was a specialist in the Enigma code, as they called it in New Zealand Type X, if anything went wrong with the equipment, the, the technology equipment, I would be called out in the middle of the night and have to go and fix it. If you don't know what a, a machine is, it's a glorified electric typewriter with two sets of heads, of printing heads, and it has drums which rotate all the time and scramble the code. So what I had to do was to go and test the machine, clean the drums, clean all the contacts, and I would type something like it, every good man comes to the aid of the party, and the machine would print it out. Uh, it would be, it would come back and code on the sheet and I would have to type that back into the machine and it would have to come back to exactly what I had said. So that is how we tested the, the Enigma code. They kept it very, very quiet. I was interviewed in Air Department in Wellington. I was sworn to secrecy. I never spoke to anybody about it ever. It's a good one. <laughs> well, at least. I can still do technical things, even though I'm a hundred years old. I had my own workshop here, which is at the bottom of my garden. In that workshop, I've still got some of my old technology. I sometimes sit out here and have a dream <laughs> of times, days gone by, when I was a young, a young fella. I used to talk to the stations all over the world from here. Talk to friends in England, America, Japan. Oh, every day to Japan. A guy used to like nice to practice his English, and he he'd really enjoy talking to me. <laughs> Technology has changed considerably. That is me as a little boy, and my three sisters. This one was a school teacher, and this one, she worked for a specialist, a doctor specialist, and she always told me she loved me. <laughs> she was very good. And this one was a, a brat that used to do everything to annoy me. She was younger. I don't smoke, I don't drink, and I look after myself, and I do lots and lots of work for other people. Anybody that wants any technical help with anything, I do it. And I never ch ever charge anybody for it. I enjoyed technology and still do. I haven't forgotten and I'm still capable of doing lots of things even though I'm a hundred. <laughs>